Blood, sweat and tears. That's what it took almost two years ago to create this intro in DaVinci Resolve. And I still really like it, but I feel like the time has finally come to create something new. But there's a few problems. First of all, I'm no expert in animation or visual effects in DaVinci Resolve. And I also don't have the time to learn all that stuff. I wish I had, but I just don't. And so, you know, I can't come up with an intro from scratch. And on top of that, I also don't have the money to hire someone to do it for me. So that's why I cheat. There, I said it. It's out. I use intro plugins and templates to create all my animations. And I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm a proud cheater, okay? Because, you know, I always try to customize and tweak those templates and plugins so that eventually I end up with something that looks fresh and new and unique. Now, two years ago, there weren't that many plugins and templates available for DaVinci Resolve. Plenty for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, but yeah, not so much for DaVinci Resolve, but luckily that's changing fast now. <coughs> wow, my voice is still a bit raspy, I don't know if you can hear it. I think it's still from the surgery because they put a tube down my throat and I can still feel it. <sighs> but okay, doesn't matter, we're gonna finish this video. Um, so one of the places to get plugins and templates for DaVinci Resolve is Motion VFX. And what do you know, last week they reached out asking me if I was interested in trying out their products for DaVinci Resolve. And I was like, sure, I'm lazy. I mean, I don't have the time to learn how to do it myself. So yeah, I want to try it out. And so right now I'm in the process of creating a new intro for my channel. It's not finished yet. But I already want to show you how I do it, my workflow, because, you know, I don't want to use an existing template, drop on my logo and that's it. So I downloaded a few plugins to start with, M Intro of course, because it's in the name, Intro, but also M Title Film and M Tuber 2. Oh look, there's an M Tuber 3 now too, that's new. But anyway, M Tuber is like an entire toolbox for content creators. And then I install them and go over all the templates or titles as they're called to see if there's any I like. And look, you could make it super easy for yourself and just pick any of these templates, add your name or initials and you're done. Or maybe, you know, you can change the background color. You could easily have something finished in minutes. And I mean, it looks great, but it's not so unique. So I think the first step should be designing a logo. I didn't have a logo before, I was always using my initials, so you know I started brainstorming a little bit and then I saw that lightning bolt in the background there. And I kind of like it, so I was like why not make that into a logo. I started doing some research if there's a special meaning to a lightning bolt. Wait, because you have to hear this. Uh, lightning bolt. Light. Bolt. Meaning. So the bolt of lightning is a traditional symbol of sudden illumination. That sounds cool already. But wait. And the destruction of ignorance. Now that's cool. And it also represents punishment of humans by the gods from the skies. Most commonly attributed to Zeus, king of the gods. I mean, how cool is a lightning bolt? So I was like, yeah, that has to be my logo. And I started designing a simple logo with a lightning bolt. And it's super easy to add your own logo to one of these plugins or templates. Select the path of your logo here, and then it automatically appears in the intro. But that's still just dropping your logo on an existing template and not so unique. So what I always try to do is combine different templates, different elements, different plugins, and I tweak them and customize them. I add elements, I remove elements, I use keyframes, and eventually you end up with something that looks fresh and unique. And that's also how I created my first intro. But back then, two years ago, it wasn't so easy in DaVinci Resolve because there weren't that many plugins available. And so that's what I wanna show you today, how I combine and tweak these plugins and templates. For example, I kinda like this M intro background. It's clean and simple. Maybe let's just change the color like this. Yeah, that looks good. 
and now you can drop whatever you want on the background. For example, one of these intro add-ons to reveal your logo. That looks interesting. And then, you know, when you add your logo, it looks something like this. Or you can even use a film title. This looks nice. And then you get something like this. Or you can use the logo background in combination with a logo reveal. Let's try this one, the logo melt. It looks like this if you don't tweak or customize it. But now let's add it to my logo background. So just drag it on top. Now the only problem I have with this intro reveal is that this white background here. I don't want that. I only want the part where the logo appears. Also these black rectangles, I don't want them. But it's super easy to remove those here in background controls. Set red, green and blue to zero. And then also alpha to zero. And same for the black rectangles. And now we get something like this. And the more you tweak and combine, the more unique it gets. And it's super easy, it really is. Another thing you can do to make it look more unique is adding keyframes. For example, if I add my logo to this background, I want the logo to appear right here when the background opens up. So I'm gonna select my logo, add a keyframe here. This is where the logo should be invisible still. So I'll set it to zero, the size. And then here the logo should start to appear. So another keyframe and size to something like this. And so here again, keyframe and so on. And then if you finished all your keyframes, it looks something like this. The logo appears at the right moment. And I actually really like this one. I was just playing around with it for this video to show you some examples, but I kind of like this one. So maybe this is gonna be my new intro. I mean, I have to tweak it a little bit more, but yeah. Find good music also, that's super important because I don't like the music that I used just now. That was just an example. So, you know, it has to be the perfect music or sound effect. Anyway, my voice is <laughs> dying. I have to stop this video or I might lose my voice. And then no more videos. Was I done? I was done actually. So that's good. Um, guys, now I know why the doctor said that you have to rest. Huh, they do know what they're talking about. <coughs> anyway, nothing wrong with using templates and plugins. We can't be experts at everything, you know, and if you're a solo filmmaker and you don't have the money to hire someone, plugins, that's fine. Use plugins, use templates. Just tweak them, customize them, so that you create something unique. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. <coughs> I'm dead. <laughs>